Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 7.7, .7, Solving Inequalities Using Multiplication or Division Lesson. Pause while you write Section 7.7 .7 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use the properties of inequality to solve inequalities. We'll be starting on page 340 in your math textbook. Example 1 solving an inequality using multiplication. We're going to solve x over 5 is less than or equal to 2 and graph the solution. So first step is to write the inequality. So we're going to use the multiplication property of inequality and that undoes the division. So we need to multiply both sides by 5 in order to get x by itself. So 5 times 5 leaves x by itself and 5 times 2 on the right leaves 10 on the right hand side. So when we simplify we have x is less than or equal to 10. So the solution is x less than or equal to 10. So we need to make sure that our graph matches our solution. So we color in the circle so we have a closed circle for our 10 and then everything to the left is darkened on our graph. So when we look at that 15 is not a solution and 5 is a solution. On the next page, example 2, we have 4n is greater than 32. So again, our first step is always to write the inequality. And then we use the division property of inequality. And we divide both sides by 4 to undo the multiplication. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that leaves n by itself on the left. And 32 divided by 4 is 8, so that leaves 8 on the right. So n is greater than 8. So the solution is n is greater than 8. And when we graph that, that needs to match our solution. So our, we have an open circle on the 8, and everything to the right of 8 is colored in. Example 3 is our real-life application. A one-way bus ride costs $1.75. A 30-day bus pass costs $42. Our job is to write and solve an inequality to find the least number of one-way rides you must take for the 30-day pass to be a better deal. Letter B, you ride the bus an average of 20 times each month. Is the pass a better deal? Explain. So let's start with letter A. The words, the price of a one-way ride times the number of one-way rides is more than $42. So in order to make that a good deal, the price times the number of one-way rides has to be more than $42 in order to make it a better deal. So our variable is going to be r, and that's going to be the number of one-way rides. So our inequality is going to be $1.75, that's the price of a one-way ride, times r, that's the number of one-way rides, we don't know how many that takes yet, is more than, so greater than, 42. So we're going to write that inequality. One, $1.75 times r is greater than 42. So we use our division property of inequality. So that means we divide both sides by $1.75 to get r by itself. And 42 divided by $1.75 is 24. So we simplify. And that's what we get. So we need to take more than 24 one-way rides for the pass to be a better deal. So the answer to B then is no. The cost of 20 one-way rides 
is less than $42, so the pass is not a better deal for us. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 7 below. They're also located on pages 340 to 341 of your textbook. Be sure to show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.